Okay guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure the DHCP server in Red Hat Linux. Okay, this is my lab. Uh, uh, this is my server machine and this is my client machine. In the server machine, I'm going to configure the DHCP server. And from the client machine, I'm requesting for the IP address to the server so that the client get the dynamically dynamic IP address from the server along with the default gateway and many more parameters. Okay, let's start with our tutorial. Uh, to configure the DHCP server, I'm going to open my uh, command line. Uh, I'm going to log in as a root user. Okay, uh, before installing the DHCP, I'm going to search for the DHCP package by uh, yum search command. Okay, here you can see that the DHCP package is available, available for us. I'm going to install the DHCP package by yum install command. Okay, it said that the DHCP has already installed and it has the latest version in my machine so that it don't do anything. Okay, uh, how to find the configuration file for the DHCP server? We can find the configuration file of DHCP server by using the RPM command. Okay, uh, this keep the long listing of file inside the DHCP package. Okay, here you can see that the first dhcpd.con file provide the DHCP configuration file for the IP prefer address, whereas the dhcpd6.con file provide the configuration for IPv6. Okay, I'm going to uh, open open this dhcpd.con file for IPv4 configuration. CD etc dhcp ls vim dhcpd.conf okay here is already the configuration file so i am going to remove this configuration file dhcpd.conf okay vim i am going to create the configuration file again to configure the dhcp server dot conf okay i am going to write but there is no anything in this file but i am going to show you how to get the uh, default configuration file and how to edit as per the requirement okay the things that you need to know that the dhcpd.com file doesn't provide anything but it definitely provides the uh, uh, information about where the sample configuration file for the dhcp server is located it is located at uh, cd uh, user share doc dhcp ls uh, when I do the cat command for uh, here you can see that the uh, dhcpd dot con dot sample file is for the default uh, configuration file uh, or for the sample configuration file for the IPv4 uh, dhcp server configuration while as dhcpd 6 dot con dot sample is for the sample configuration of IPv6 configuration okay I'm going to copy this one uh, dscpd.conf.sample to uh, it is a <coughs> dscp dscpd.conf okay i'm going to override that file which i have already earlier created cd it is a dscp and again i'm going to open this this file okay now uh, this file provides the number of different method for configuration of the dhcp server Mm, but I'm going to on, mm, only one method uh, that method will be this one I'm going to use uh, this one which is from line number 45 to uh, which is from okay set any set and you set the line number in Vim editor uh, line number 47 to 55 I'm going to uh, use this sample configuration okay but for other I am going to uh, commenting okay uh, option domain name uh, provide the domain name for the DNS server so I am not uh, going to use this one okay option domain name server provide the host name of the name server there will be different name server so I am not also going to use this one okay default list time and maximum list time is the global configuration list time that given by the DHCP server to the workstation and this line line number 22 log facility local 7 uh, lock the logs file for 
about the DHCP server and this is also the one of type of sample configuration I'm not going to use this one so I'm going to commenting this one this is okay I'm not going to use this one also so I'm going to comment this one this one also okay this one also uh, and then mm, I'm not going to use these lines also so I'm going to commenting this line in okay mm, uh, these lines okay uh, here are the things that you need to know okay if I have to uh, map the static IP address to a particular host then mm, at this condition that we can use these lines because uh, this line say that uh, f uh, use the IP address something instead of name I'm going to use we, we can use the name that means number numeric IP address uh, use the numeric IP address of 192.168.1.3.10.10.10.100 or anyone to the host something like this but in my condition I'm not going to use this one so I'm going to comment these lines also so I'm going to comment this line also okay okay I'm also going to comment this line also after that I need to do a little work the thing that is um, okay this one line number 14 uh, the line number 14 say that do not update the DHCP server in case we haven't set up the DHCP server but in case if you have set up the DHCP server this line say that do not update your name server using this DHCP server so at this condition this line will be helpful and the uh, line number 18 make this uh, server as an authoritative server for the local area network okay the main configuration lines for our DHCP server is this one subnet defines the network which are going to use okay in my case I'm going to use the network range of 192.168.1.0 network and I'm going to use the default subnet max for the class C IP address then range will provide the number of IP address which are given to the workstation in your network I'm going to use from 10 to 20 1.10 to 192.168.1.20 okay uh, other things mm, okay option domain name server provide the name server uh, because we haven't set any name server so I'm going to delete this lens okay option domain name set the domain name of the, the name server we this one also not going to be used option router set the default gateway um, in my condition I'm going to use my default gateway is 192.168.1.100 because the 100 address is the IP address of the DHCP uh, server uh, so that I'm going to use that one as a default gateway option broadcast address set the broadca broadcast address for class C network that is the broadcast address for this network is 192.168.1.255 because I'm using the default subnet max so okay this default list line time and maximum list list time will set the list time for the workstations to provide the IP address okay this one that's the configuration file okay uh, uh, before starting the DHCP server let's check our configuration file whether the configuration file is right or not by using the command service DHCPT configuration file test config test okay the syntax is okay let's start our DHCP server by using the command service DHCPD start okay then uh, on our DHCP server for run level 1 sorry for our level 3 2 and for our level 5 check config dhcpd on uh, okay let's see our log message bar log messages okay <laughs> to check the log message i'm going to use the tail command tail tail minus n number of line sorry tail minus n 10 bar log sorry messages okay uh, you see that 
and these are the logs files generated by the DHCP server. Okay, let's uh, request for the uh, IP address from this client machine to the DHCP server. Okay, uh, I'm going to open the two uh, terminal one for to follow the log files, and other for is to um, restart the network so that the client will uh, ask for the IP address to the DHCP server. Del minus f bar log messages. Okay, uh, minus f uh, option indicate to follow the log file. I'm going to restart the network service network. Restart. Okay, here you can see that the client is requesting the IP address. Okay, we can get many information from this log file. Um, Okay, let's analyze our log file. Okay, Hadoop one is the client uh, uh, name. Mm, Hadoop one. Okay, Hadoop one is a request for the IP address on the uh, interface area zero. Using it, use the broadcast address two five five two five five two five five. Using the so uh, it uh, after that uh, 192.168.1.0 which is the server machine it provide the IP address of 192.168.1.10 to this client machine okay this is the complete configuration for DHCP server we can check by using the if command this server is getting the IP address of 192.168.1.10 uh, the Brooks address is 192.168.1.255 okay here we haven't seen the default gateway we can uh, check the default gateway by using the ready state command minus nr okay the default gateway here you can see that the 192.168.1.0 which is the IP address of server okay let's check our IP address that whether the 192.168.1.100 is IP address of the server or not if config ETH okay if config Okay, here you can see that the IP address, which is the default gateway for the client machine, is 192.168.1.0. Okay, that's the other configuration file for the DHCP server. If you like this video, just click on like or do the good comment. Thank you.